Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Glopen and welcome to the future. Now we are at WAIC, World AI Conference. Now, due to all the development of ChatGPT last year and OpenAI, everybody is talking about AI. And here, it's not only about the software, the technology, but also about robots. Behind me is all 15 Chinese-made human-like robots. And later on, we'll also see the newly launched Tesla Optimus 2. Let's have a look. Now in this video, I'm going to show you the different use cases of AI in the various industries. And at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you my personal experience or my personal opinion on how China's AI is developing compared to the most advanced nations, notably US. So follow through till the end of this video. AI can be implemented in many different industries. And when it comes to the automotive industry, it's all about autonomous driving. Now here we are in front of the Tesla stand. Behind me is the Tesla Cybertruck. You see there are so many Tesla fans around us. But also on my left hand side, you'll see the newly launched Optimus 2. That is a robot that will be coming into the market very soon. Now on the side, there is a Tesla lottery. Let's try it out. Now it is our chance. Wait, don't. <laughs> Unfortunately, nothing. At this year's WAIC, Tesla showcased the latest second generation Optimus robot, which has seen significant performance improvements compared to the previous generation. Its walking speed has increased by 30%. Its balance and body control capabilities have improved. It is equipped with new dual hands that can grasp heavier objects and perform more delicate operations, such as gently holding an egg and transporting heavy items. It can also perform delicate tasks like placing eggs. Tesla plans to begin limited production of the Optimus robot in 2025 for use in Tesla factories. In the recent years, the Chinese car makers are doing really great in the Chinese market. And the Western brands were lacking behind. And one of the reasons is the difference between the smart cabin. Just like the vehicle behind me. Hi, I'm Nomi. Hey, I'm Olga. Hey, Olga, I'm Nomi, your trusty digital assistant. The weather in Berlin will be cloudy with the minimum temperature of eight degrees and maximum temperature of 12 degrees. That's cool. When the Nomi system was launched, it was a revolutionary product. Everybody loved it, and it completely changed the way how people communicate with their vehicles. Now this is probably the first time you're seeing robot dance, right? But actually nowadays robots are often used in hotels to deliver parcels and different objects. But there are many different use cases. For example, this robot can be used to monitor the situation within data centers. These robots can be used to deliver parcels within the delivery centers. And there are many, many different use cases that will change the way of how different industries operate in the future. The highlights of conference are definitely those numerous humanoid robots on display. These interesting robots come from different companies and varied in shape, with some even dropping parts while walking. No, God, please, no, no! 
In addition, there was a particularly fun coffee robot developed by Dell. I wonder how the coffee tastes. On the other hand side, the humanoid head robot, which I have duped the scariest robot at the conference, mimics the expressions of the person in front of it. I feel like I'm going to have some nightmares tonight. Well, that's really scary. <laughs> Now we're at the stand of Unitree. Unitree is like Boston uh, Dynamics. They produce quadruped robots, and they're actually the number one sold in terms of quantity. These quadruped robots are only sold for a little bit more than 1,300 US dollars. Would you consider to buy one? Apart from this cool robotic dog, this year's release of the Unitri G1 humanoid robot has also attracted widespread attention. The robot stands about 127 centimeters tall, weighs 35 kilograms, and can move at speeds up to 2 meters per second. It has between 23 to 43 joints and supports reverse joint folding design, providing high explosive and high load dynamic response capabilities. The standard version, including the tax, is priced at 99,000 RMB, making it a very cost-effective robot and a formidable competitor to Boston Dynamics. Will Unitree's robots surpass Boston Dynamics in the future? So now we are at the stand of Extel Pipe. And this is really a high tech technology that I can't really explain myself. So I asked Ms. Wong to help me to understand what they actually do. Thank you. Hi, my name is Rue and I work at ExoPi. We're an AI and robotics in empowered pharmaceutical and new materials discover platform. So founded in 2015 by a group of quantum physicists, ExoPi is combining quantum physics, artificial intelligence, and while, all while harnessing the power of robotics experimentation to drive the innovation in discovering new therapeutics as well as new materials. So that when AI designs a molecule in virtuality, these machines can step by step through synthesis, uh, actually make these molecules in the physical, physical world. And this machine in and of itself can carry out a bunch of uh, regent, you know, dispensing, uh, dilution, filtration, synthesis analysis, etc. So it can cover a lot of the works that traditionally heavily rely on human labor. Wow, that's really great and really groundbreaking. And hopefully it can really change the mankind in terms of making medicine um, easier to the market. Exactly. So the whole point of using AI and robots in collaboration is to increase the efficiency and also empower innovation. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. It's really exciting and all the best. Now we Chinese take education really serious. And this is why there are companies that are using AI for education industry as well. Let's have a look whether this works or not. Uh, what's the temperature today? I went to a restaurant. Well, it seems that this system is not as powerful as it is advertised. In many cases, the software response speed is really slow, and the answers are irrelevant, which is quite disappointing. So now we are in front of Alibaba. As one of the largest tech companies in China, or maybe even in the world, they have so many different use cases in different aspects of our life. So let's have a look. Alibaba's booth is the largest among those numerous tech companies and features the most diverse range of applications. Examples include an AI programmed companion robot dog, programs that assist in video editing and music creation, and the AI Skyward system developed in collaboration with Expo Motors. There are also 
interesting practical applications from Alibaba's Damo Academy, such as AI medical consultations. However, it is worth mentioning that Alibaba's virtual avatar also responds pretty slow and often gives irrelevant answers, indicating much room for improvement. Besides Alibaba's booth, companies like Huawei, Tencent, Baidu, and Google also have their own booths. Besides all these stands, the other part of WAIC is the high-level meeting on global AI governance that allows the industry experts to exchange on different AI topics. Not far from here is a tech company called SenseTime, which is drawing a lot of attention. Let's go and check it out. Although most of the places are rather theoretical, there are also some fun elements where you can really interact with the machines. Now we're starting a very traditional game in China. Well, it's very simple. We just need to make five pieces in a row. I haven't played this for, um, I think, more than a decade, so probably I'm going to lose. Let's see. Now I'm gonna win. <laughs> Ta-da! So it doesn't seem like it's very intelligent. <laughs> and nowadays, one industry in China is really popular. It's called EVTOL. And one of these companies is called Yihang, based in Shenzhen, that is getting a lot of tension now. Will they really replace the helicopters? And will they really become a mass transportation method? We'll wait and see. EVTOL stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Vehicles. Compared with conventional helicopters, EVTOL has the advantage of low carbon, environmental friendly, low noise, high degree of automation, low operating cost, high safety, and reliability, which has attracted lots of investment into the field. Some people believe EVTOL will play an important role in future air travel scenarios. Do you think it will have a bright future? So that's it for our video today. What do you think is the most interesting part? Some of the robots or some of the use cases? As I have promised before, at the end of the video, I'll give you my general impression about the AI usage within China, how it is compared to the most advanced economies in the world. Well, I would say, personally, I think China's daily usage of AI in the different aspects is really more advanced than elsewhere in the world. For example, a couple of weeks ago, I received a call from a headhunter. And I realized that it was an AI after four questions. And the second aspect I would say is that as a ChatGPT user, as a frequent ChatGPT user, I feel that the large language models of Chinese companies are still behind the US, especially ChatGPT OpenAI. The third aspect I will say, the usage of AI in the different industries, especially with, combined with robotics, I would say there, China is probably advanced, but still there's so much way to go before it can be used for commercial or the different industries. So if you enjoyed our video today and our channel, please leave a like, subscribe, and share with your friends so that more people can see our awesome videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.